Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you to this video titled Prime Factorization, and in this video you will look at how to find the prime factorization of different numbers. Now you will need your math book and your math journal and a pencil as we go through this. So let's first of all take a look at what prime factorization actually is. So prime factorization, as you can see here, and I'd like you to write this down in your journal, that prime factorization of a number is the number written as the product of its prime factors. Okay, so taking a look and thinking about prime numbers, that means it only has a factor of one and itself. Okay, that's it. So whenever there's only a number that only has factors of one and itself, that means it's a prime number. Okay, so we can see here 12 prime factorization can be written as 2 times 2 times 3. You multiply all these prime numbers together and that will give you 12. Another way you can write that is 2 to the power of 2 times 3. So let's take a look at how to find to how to get to the prime numbers of a certain number and we're going to take a look at um, using factor trees to do this. Okay, so we have 240. And what we want to do, we want to think about any number that can go into 240 or think about what multiplication problem could equal 240. So there's a few of them. There could be 3 times 80. There could be 5 times 48. There could be 2 times 120. Okay, so all these different multiplication problems could equal 240. Any way you start is completely fine. You'll eventually get to the same um, prime factorization or the prime numbers at the very end. So we're going to start out with 5 times 48. Okay, so we have 5 times 48 gives us 240. Now, whenever I come to a prime number, what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle that. That means I don't have to break that number down anymore. Even though it looks like an S, that's actually a 5. Okay, so now we take a look at 48. So I'm going to say... 6 times 8 gives me 48. Now, I can still break these two numbers down. These numbers are not prime. They're actually composite. So I keep going until I end up with just prime numbers. So 6, I'm going to break that number down. 2 times 3. Both 2 and 3 are prime numbers. Now let's take a look at 8. 8, we have 2 times 4. So 2 is a prime number, so I circle that. And then 4, we have 2 times 2. And those are both prime, so I circle those as well. Okay. So now I don't have any other numbers that are composite left to break down. So now what I'm going to do is write the prime factorization of 240. Now, I would like for you to write these in order. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four twos. So that means it's going to be two to the power of four times, then we have three times five. Okay, and that is the prime factorization of 240. So, in other words, when I multiply two to the power of four times three times five, that gives me the answer of 240. So again, prime factorization, just remember, is the number written as the product of its prime factors. Okay, so these are the prime factors of 240 there. All right, let's take a look at 400, 402. So I'd like you to work through this problem with me. Now there's a couple different ways I could break 402 down. So I could start out, for example, with 134 times 3. I could do 2 times 201. So however I start doesn't really make a difference. It's just the fact that I need to keep breaking these composite numbers down until I end up with prime numbers. So the first thing I will do is I'm just going to do 2 times 201. All right. So that 2 is a prime number, so I'll circle that. Now let's take a look at 201. I know 3 can go into 201 67 times, so 3 times 67. I know 3 is a prime number, 
Now 67 looks like a fairly big number to be prime, but it, it is actually prime. So remember, whenever you have a prime number, that means only one and that number itself are the only factors. Okay, so think about our, our factors that we um, went through in previous modules. For example, the factors of 67, for example. So I just have 1 and 67, so means, that means this is a prime number. Okay, so 67 is a prime number, so I don't have any other numbers to break down. So the factors, the prime factorization of 402 is 2 times 3 times 67 there. All right, let's take a look at 64. And again, I want you to do this with me. So 64, once again, we could start out with 8 times 8. We could start out with 2 times 32. Okay, so a couple different ways to start out with this one. I'm going to do 2 times 32. 2 is a prime number, so I'll circle that. 32, I'm going to break it down. It could break it down 2 times 16 or 4 times 8. And I'm going to do 4 times 8. I didn't mean to make that little tree part there red, but that's okay. So 4 and 8. Now, 4 and 8 are both composite, so I still need to keep going. So I'm going to think about what multiplication problem equals 4. It's going to be 2 times 2. Is going to give me 4. 2 and 2 are both prime numbers. I'll circle those. So 8 can be broken down still. I need to think about what multiplication problem equals 8. This will be 4 times 2. 2 is a prime number. I'll circle that. Now I need to break down my 4. What multiplication problem equals 4? 2 times 2 equals 4. And now I have all my numbers broken down, and they're all prime numbers. So you can see I just have one, two, three, four, five, six twos. So the prime factorization of 64 would be 2 to the power of 6 for that answer. All right, let's take a look at one more. So we have 891. Okay, so that seems to be... A little bit bigger of a problem though than what we're used to, but not to worry at all. So 891. Okay, so when I think about this problem here, I need to think about what multiplication problem can equal 891. And so I know that 3 times 297 give me 891. Okay, now I know my 3 is a prime number. 297, I know that can be divided by 3. And if I take 297 and I divide that by 3, that's going to give me 99. Whoops. Make this black here so we don't get confused. So 3 times 99 gives me 297. So again, 3 is a prime number. Now 99 is composite, so I need to think about what multiplication problem equals 99. And that is going to give me a couple different ones I could do. 11 times 9. Now I know 11 is a prime number because it only, the only factors of 11 are 1 and 11. And then 9, I know 3 times 3 can equal 9. So 3 and 3 are both prime, so I will circle those. So now I have 3, 3, 3, and 3. So 3, 4, sorry, 4 3s. So my prime factorization is 3 to the power of 4 times 11. And a way to check that is you can just put in your calculator 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 11, and that's going to give you 891 for your answer there. So the prime factorization of 891 is 3 to the power of 4 times 11. 
So let's take a look at this final problem. It says the number 2 is chosen to begin a factor tree to find the prime factorization of 66. What other numbers could have been used to start the tree diagram for 66? How does starting with a different number change the tree diagram? So what we're taking a look at here is the number 66, first of all. So I will show you how you can start with any number here, as long as it's a factor. So let's say we start with 2 and 2 times 33 gives you 66. So 2 is a prime number. We'll circle that. And then 3 and 33. 3 times 11 gives us 33. So we have the prime factorization of 2 times 3 times 11. Now they're asking us what other numbers could be used here. So what I could use, if let's say, I'm going to do this in another color to show you that I'm starting with another number. So 66, I could start out with 6 times 11 gives me 66. Now I know 11 is a prime number, so I'll circle that. Then I can break 6 down to 2 times 3. And I still have the prime factorization of 2 times 3 times 11. So this shows it does not matter what multiplication problem you start out with. What matters is, is that you have the correct prime numbers for the prime factorization. Okay, so if you start out differently, that's okay as long as the end destination is the same. 2 times 3 times 11 when I started out with 2. When I started out with 6 times 11, I still had 2 times 3 times 11. And the question is, how does starting with a different number change the tree diagram? It does not change the tree diagram at all. The prime factorization is still the same. What other numbers could have been used? We could have used 6 and 11 could also have been used to start that out. So this concludes the video on prime factorization. If you have any questions about this concept, please come and see me.